In Oxford, the UK's most respected and prestigious seat of learning, a young woman from China is busy planting the seeds of an exciting new business venture. Meet aeronautical engineer Fu Jia Chen. Now my dream is to use more and more technology from the aerospace industry sector to help us to develop more better baby products. She's used a simple mechanism from satellites to redesign the travel cot, so, bringing aerospace technology to a, a whole new into world. Feet, so it'd be more Her stable. brilliance has won plenty of admirers, including Developed the UK like government's that, it's support a real agency good example for small to see enterprises. How much has been going on in the industry? is extremely, extremely talented. She has a clear vision of where she wants to go, and she's prepared to work hard but bringing space technology down to Earth is a tall task. And I quickly realised the problem. It cannot close because satellite doesn't close in the space. Fujia's vision was a travel cot that opens and closes effortlessly. It was her aeronautical expertise and passion that provided the solution. It can help our moms to have a better life and also to have help to protect our babies. The name of Fujia's product is Space Cot, and she's about to launch it. In a pretty Oxford garden, Fujia and her team are working on a key tool to advertise her stellar invention. So we're making um, a video for promoting Space Cart. We're going to launch a product first in UK and then the next step will be other countries international wide. Okay. But Fujia won't rest once her product has launched locally. She's set her sights on the planet's biggest markets, China and the United ooh, States. Ooh, ooh. You're a very strong girl, you are. Today is a key day for Fujia. For the first time, she'll see the space cot in use. I think this is um, one step towards to my dream. So that the first time to see actually one baby within the cot, then that means that we more and more babies can be within space cot. So it will certainly help a lot of parents. And today, our, um, our actress baby's mom already said, wow, this is very good, can I have one? Stationed at the heart of England is the European Space Agency a leading institution of science and technology innovation. This is a mecca for rocket scientists, where Fujia Chen and her partner Julian Yanke are bringing outer space technology down from the skies. This is Space Cup. And this is AlphaSat satellite from European Space Agency. This is the exact deployment technology that we have transferred to Space Cup. Fuji was given access to European Space Agency patents. The opening mechanism of this large geostationary communications satellite inspired her. She transformed it into the Space Cot opening mechanism. The European Space Agency's Business Incubation Centre plays host to brilliant young scientists, engineers and entrepreneurs. Here they can develop ideas supported by ESA's full okay. range of resources. So opens up. As a trained aeronautical engineer, it will be great to bring a lot of technology from aerospace industrial sector to develop our everyday products. When we were in European Space Agency Incubation Centre, we got the opportunity to be exposed to top-edge technologies. Fujia had access to an array of world-leading science and research infrastructure valued at over one billion pounds. It was here where Fujia and Julian set up their company, Oxford Space Structures. Working with her is really, I think, inspiring for the whole team. And I think um, it's obviously always difficult among the co-founders, you have disagreements. But I think the great thing is that we always solve it. We're working very constructively together. She is really driven and focused, and I think this is what you need, a great relationship among the partners, and that is why I think she's perfect for that. Fujia also does some of her best work in her London home. 
Space coat weighs about six kilograms. The reason that we can keep it lightweight and it's still safe and strong comes from two factors. The first is the structure, which was inspired by the satellite patterns. Using the fewest components possible maximized the structure's strength and stability. The second factor is the choice of the materials. All this material has been widely in, uh, used in other aerospace sectors. So she for chose the aluminium aerospace tubes, grade aluminium tubing. Um, aluminium this gives aerospace maximum class. strength to the frame while keeping it lightweight. For the, the joints, joints are made from a nylon and glass fiber composite that is powerfully fiber. strong this yet will make lightweight. Sure strong but lightweight. Fujia met her husband Maxime while they were both pursuing PhDs at Oxford University. On the Google Drive, and then uh, I'll share a link with her so that you can, you can yeah. send it over. But yeah. beyond okay. the support of her husband, Fujia's motivation springs from a challenging background growing up in China. Wedding certificate. I was born in Canton and afterwards my family moved to Shanghai. In China, in the last 100 years, women's status in the society has been changing and is growing as a society is developing. My mother didn't come from a very prestigious family background. She managed to build up her career as a successful accountant. My mother's dream is to help me to get the best education she can afford. I always had the dream that I wanted to become a rocket scientist. So I applied to study aeronautical engineering in UK. Fujia came to London to join Imperial College, one of the world's top engineering schools. In its famed halls a decade ago, she first nurtured her dream of becoming a rocket scientist. Yeah, it is really the starting point of the whole career. Her rich experience laid foundations for the birth of Space Cot. There were no girls toilet on the ground floor. And at the time, we have three girls in the class, so we always have to compete with the, the, the toilet. And I remember once, one of the girls were really in a rush, so she literally just ran into the boys' toilet to solve her problem. So yeah, this is a very good example to see the proportion of the girls in a pretty much male-dominated industry. But it was in Oxford where the stratospheric journey of Space Cot truly began. Fresh with a PhD in aeronautical engineering, Fujia was invited to Saeed Business School's launch pad to share knowledge with the business world. Destiny played a part. Fujia was babysitting her nephew and she noticed the awkwardness of his travel costs. She also saw the struggles of other colleagues with babies. Most travel costs in the market are very difficult to use. They are very heavy. They are, are very complicated to open and close. I will think about it. As a trained engineer, can we try to do something to improve those baby products, especially this travel cot, to make it easier deployable travel cot? It can help our moms to have a better life and also to have help to protect our babies. A competition was held at the end of the program. Teams were given access to a portfolio of patents. The stars aligned when Fujia discovered the AlphaSat satellite. Her team won the competition, but her journey was just beginning. Then I quickly realized the problem. Um, this technology is very easy to open, but it cannot close because satellite doesn't close in the space. For closing the space cot, Fujia had to come up with a fresh solution. Oxford University's engineering department, where she spent several years, was a natural place to start. Hi, Yalashi. <laughs> and the project is also doing very well at the moment. So we're going to start the, doing the tooling very soon. Today, Fujia is visiting Professor John Yu, a world expert in deployable structures. When I met Fujia, she mentioned the travel cot concept. So I think the requirement is actually quite close to the umbrellas. It's very compact because every single structure uh, comes together to form a bundle. Fujia spent six system. months so with Dr. Yu researching and developing so different structures that, that could open there, and close. Can, yeah, it finally unearthed a helpful model invented way back in actually, 1853. Our travel cord idea 
is based on a modification of this very ancient Saras linkage, which can be folded very easily and can expand rapidly. So this is our first prototype, yeah. first ever space call. And in this prototype, as sadly, well, as the first see, prototype it, had a key sort of defect the in the opening and mechanism. That's very bad for the, babies the hinge because you don't want quickly the proved to be a like safety inside. issue I don't, for babies. Don't even get my they could easily anyway. catch their fingers. The engineers were forced to go back and, to their drawing um, boards. For uh, slightly older babies. For the second prototype, they experimented and with a larger cot tried. for older babies and, then and created here, a new the hinge. mechanism from basically opening to more like um, a straight. Uh, tubeless structures with a hinge in the middle. Yeah, the but right the sliding tube complicated the simplicity they I were aiming don't for. Think it's a great idea, but we obviously need to improve this. And then there were a few more trial and errors. It leads to us to this um, final prototype. They designed a button hinge with no complex sliding mechanisms nor sharp joints this for little fingers. Hinge. So Mothers and button, babies and would now happens. have access to a strong, safe space cot. Fujia's project is now reaching its final stages. In a few weeks, she'll oversee manufacturing in China. We have raised more than £600,000 of governmental financial support and £200,000 of private equity support. So Innovate UK is, is a government a agency that has been an enthusiastic of supporter of space cops. Innovate UK is the innovation agency of the UK government. We connect people, industries, ideas and finance. The space sector is a growth story around the world and especially in the UK. As the innovation agency, we're quite interested in how people are using space technologies and space data in different ways. So what was exciting about SpaceCot that they had the right innovation. They were taking something from the space sector and applying it to, to an entirely new market. Here we are. This is China. And this is Shanghai. So the factory is just down here. And yes, yeah, next to Japan. The, all the technology was developed here in United Kingdom. It's an early start today because Fujia is preparing to travel back to her homeland. In China, she'll oversee the initial manufacturing and assembly of space cot. But first, she needs to make a call for final arrangements. Fujia wants to make sure that everything on the ground in China is progressing smoothly. On the line is the director of SpaceCot's Chinese marketing team, another ambitious entrepreneur. In the days of globalization, Fujia has a full range of technological resources available to make SpaceCot a worldwide business. Bye-bye. As full production nears, Fujia has made some final tweaks. So here is um, where we come to the later design. First, she replaced the wheels with fixed feet for enhanced stability. Then she harmonized the color of the stitching with the material. She added an upright handle and shoulder strap, plus a design for a handy travel bag. Fujia packs the essentials for her business trip to China. Well, first we need to go to Ben's factory, and then I think we'll go to visit a few suppliers together. The quality control from Shenzhen, or...? Yes, um, he's actually going to be in around the area. Oh, the uh, time, time, that's yes. quite convenient. Well, travel club might just fit in in a big suitcase. So at the moment, we're 11.7 kilos. Ah, uh, okay. So that's about double the weight of your travel club. That's already quite heavy. Fujia and her husband have been to China many times together. But Maxime won't be joining her on this trip. He'll be working on the space cot launch in the UK. I've come to UK for about nine and a half years already. And at the beginning, I came here to pursue my dream. Um, somehow, now I found it, you have to go back to China to, to actually get your dream done. So it's quite an interesting story, I suppose. Being able to connect um, China and UK, capitalize myself of my my native languages, my educational background, and then the, um, the business I'm doing, it's yeah, it's quite exciting, and I suppose it's the starting point of a new dream.